after they go to the gym, they feel good about themselves. So they're like, oh yeah, I need like I need a treat. So you get like a lot of macchiato, or maybe you also get a croissant or something. Calories you just con- you just spent at the gym uh, immediately like whooshed, like <laughs> the calorie deficit is gone. Hi, this is Broccoli Propaganda and in this video we are talking about exercise and weight loss. Can exercise alone make you lose weight or do you also need diet to pair exercise with it? Well, short answer is doing exercise alone will not make you lose weight. There are several studies that can confirm that. So if you do not change your diet, which is probably towards the 80% of your success rate is your diet, you will not lose weight. However, a lot of people think that exercise alone will make them lose weight. And I was one of these people. When I started gaining weight, like it was not a big deal, but uh, I, as a young girl, I was really self-conscious about my weight gain. And I thought, oh, what should I do about this? And then I saw all this advertisement about uh, women going to the gym and so on. This was like back in the 90s. And I started going to the gym thinking that if I will put this effort in the in the gym and uh, uh, tense my muscles and so on, then this will help me lose weight. However, I didn't change anything about the way I was eating, nothing. So, of course nothing really happened. I mean, of course, it's nice to have a little bit feeling in your muscles and there's obviously no doubt that there's a lot of health benefits in going to the gym. However, just going to the gym without changing your diet will not make you lose weight. I was talking to a friend of mine recently. She has recently gained some weight and she told me, well, as soon as I go back to the gym, as soon as I work out again, I will lose weight. At the same time, everything she was eating was exactly against the book. So basically high glycemic food, sugar, a cereal, a white bread, a lot of animal fat, and so on. She was eating vegetables, but clearly not enough to compensate for all this, um, all these bad calories that she was eating. And I thought to myself, this belief still prevails within people saying, I believed in this and she does. So it's quite a common uh, myth. Actually, it's so common that the scientific literature refers to exercise as a common myth in weight loss. Why? Because there's been a lot of propaganda on television that was created by the food industry when a obesity epidemic started. The food industry didn't want people to blame the food. So instead they um, started advertising how exercise is good for you and how exercise will make you lose weight and so on. So people started to believe that the food is not the problem. It's just the lack of activity is the problem. If you know a little bit about um, how our our, um, metabolism works, you you would know that 60% uh, of the calories that we are burning during the day account for resting metabolic rate. 25% of calories you burn in a day is your non-exercise activity. So basically everything else that you're doing, like doing laundry, fidgeting, uh, arms waving. So (laughs) 25%. And then only 5% accounts for physical exercise. So what happens is that we cannot really exercise that much in order to compensate for all the bad food that we're eating. I mean, yeah, of course, there's a very small group of people that can do this. Uh, I believe that athletes, I think there was a study where they compared like an immense amount of calorie consumption with athletic performance. And then they could see that only athletes that like ran marathons, these are the only people that can compensate basically high calorie consumption. Um, But all of us, the majority of us, are not athletes. Moreover, even people that think that they are uh, quite active, uh, researchers put it to the test, uh, people that say that they are active, only 25% or 20% of them, I think, uh, were actually as active as they told they were. And the rest of us, we think that they we worked out for X amount of time, but in reality, it was like 
uh, only half of that. And how many people do you know who really go to the gym for an hour and in their head like, oh, I was at the gym for an hour. But in reality, they're half of the time they were like checking Instagram be between reps and stuff like this. So we have much more control over calories in than calories out. When you exercise, you can, of, I mean, of course you burn calories, but the amount of calories that you would burn is really out of your control. However, the amount of calories that you consume, everything that you take, uh, every single choice throughout the day that you make is the calories in. And only if you create this caloric deficit, um, you would lose weight. So what happens also to our body is that our body wants to compensate the caloric deficit. So if you are exercising, walking, doing yoga, anything, any physical activity that you decide to do, the body will compensate. The body will uh, see that you've uh, uh, consumed, uh, sorry, burned more calories than usual. And the body will be like, oh, oh, I need to preserve these calories because, hey, throughout centuries, we didn't have such a caloric uh, High, highly caloric food so our body is trained to for survival our body will do everything to keep um to reduce the calorie burn throughout the day so it will reduce your metabolic rate and it will also make you fidget less like you will be less active during the day the body will also prompt you to eat more and how many people do you know who actually kind of after they go to the gym, they feel good about themselves. So they're like, oh yeah, I need like, I need a treat. So they go, I mean, I, I was the same. So like not <laughs> putting, pointing fingers. I did exactly the same. You go after the gym, you feel good about yourself. You're like, I did it. I did good workout. So I deserve a treat. So you get like a latte macchiato, or maybe you also get a croissant or something. And there you go. The calories you just con you just spent at the gym uh, immediately like whooshed, like <laughs> the comp the calorie deficit is gone just through your first meal. Not only the calorie deficit is gone, but this first meal of a croissant and latte macchiato with cow's milk will just spike your uh, sugar. And high glycemic food is known. I mean, there are studies, and I spoke about this in the other video which I link here, um, high glycemic food actually makes uh, you gain actual fat. So actually you are gaining fat instead of losing weight. Yeah, your body will always compensate. However, there's of course a limit. So there a, was a, a study, so they've put two groups. Uh, one group was uh, exercising to burn uh, 1,500 calories a week. Another group had a much more intense uh, physical activity where they had to burn 3,000 calories a week. And then they looked at what people were eating afterwards. So they noticed that the, the, the group that uh, burned 1,500 calories per week, they overcompensated through eating more, but eating 900 calories. So the caloric deficit was like 600 calories. And then the second group, that burned 3,000 calories, well, you would think that they would consume double as much. However, no, they consumed only 1,000 calories more. So you can see that it's not kind of uh, proportionate. So the more you exercise, the more you eat, you will eat a bit more, but there's a limit. And so this is the good news. So if you are someone who doesn't want to change the diet and still wants to lose weight through exercise, you can try to do really like vigorous exercise for an hour every day and, you know, you might lose weight. However, the best weight loss is through changing of lifestyle. So both diet and exercise together, when you are changing what you eat, when you are controlling how much calories you're consuming, and I'm against calorie counting, so I made some videos about calories, I don't believe in this. However, um, you still need to create caloric deficit and you can do this if you're choosing uh, foods that are high in water, such as vegetables, high in fiber, because then it's going to wall off bad calories and it's also going to make you feel full much faster. Low in glycemic load. Avoid high glycemic load because it makes you uh, gain fat. Uh, yes, and low in fat. 
So this means low in animal fat, uh, low in plant fat. Just eat a lot of beans, a lot of vegetables and whole grains, fruits and avoid bad fats and saturated fats and animal fats and then uh, you should be fine okay so there it was uh thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful i hope you will not fall the victim of this myth that exercise alone will make you lose uh, weight actually you do not even have to exercise to lose weight of course it um, helps but uh, if you hate exercising you can lose weight simply by changing how you eat and you do not need to eat less you do not need to count calories you just need to change what you eat and if you want to find out more about this keep watching this channel and uh, see you in the next video